So this is a short clip from a longer conversation that I had with Leslie Keith. She's uh, the author of a book that was just released September 28th, uh, 2021, uh, called The Lymphatic Code. So hope you enjoy. And if you want to see the whole uh, full conversation that we had uh, about lymphedema and the keto diet, and lipedema and many many other things. There'll be a link at the end of this video. Enjoy. Uh, can you? Cool. So and then and what we've talked about lipedema and some some that are listening to this or watching this may not even know what lipedema is. So you want to give a short short explanation to what lipedema is. I, I say some of the ones that are listening. Sad to say, many in the in the healthcare world does not know what lipedema is either. Yes. Yes. So we're trying to spread knowledge about that. So. You want to give a, a little description of lipedema and then also how it relates to the keto diet. Sure, sure. Because soon after I, um, I actually did a, a small pilot study with my patients um, using ketogenic diet and they all had lymphedema and obesity. And I do believe that I had two participants in the group that were undiagnosed with lipedema. And um, so it was always my um, wish to see if this uh, diet could also work for lipedema because lipedema is actually a fat disorder. It's an adipose tissue disorder and it happens almost exclusively with women. And what happens is usually around puberty, pregnancy or menopause, you have a sudden onset of uh, incredible amount of fat deposition from the waist to the ankles and sometimes also the upper arms there is uh, some orthostatic edema or just some edema that collects at the end of the day, kind of trapped in the fat tissue. Um, some of my patients have had as much as five, 10 pounds weight gain in, in one day, and that's with fluid. And then um, it's, it has a tremendous pain, hypersensitivity to the tissues. So a very light touch can cause a burning and very sharp pain. And um, also these women experience it just a, a incredible weight gain that continues if it's unchecked and has long been accepted that it's non-responsive to diet and exercise. So the typical weight loss diet of, of uh, very, very low calorie, low fat diet and intensive exercise has never worked for these women. They lose more weight off their trunk where they don't have a lot of fat deposition unless they are also obese and uh, nothing happens to their legs. The legs don't get smaller. So, um, so once I had success with my uh, pilot study with my patients who were overweight or obese and had lymphedema, um, I turned my attention to lipedema and now have been working for about five or six years with Lipedema Simplified and Lipedema Project, really working on ex kind of experimenting, having women do some self-experimentation and seeing what can work. And it has been pretty spectacular. Um, if you have this disorder, of course, before making any major dietary change, you're gonna check with your healthcare provider and make yeah. sure this is gonna be okay for, with, for you. But what we've been finding with our women with lipedema is that before there's any weight loss, any size reduction, we're talking sometimes within two weeks, the pain goes away. And I believe that this has a tremendous, um, it's tremendously influenced by the lymphatic system because we're reducing the inflammation and we're reducing um, that pain and, it's, and the lymphatic system is integral with that. And so it's, it's, I'm finding out so much about this diet that is not related to weight loss, which is fabulous for that, of yeah, course, yeah, yeah. but it, it does impact all kinds of aspects, other aspects of health. And what we're finding very spectacularly with lipedema is that whereas no diet affected that lower body fat before, now they're losing size, volume of, of that fat tissue on the lower body when they eat this way. Yeah. So yeah. it seems to work very, very well with lipedema as well. Yeah. And I know through, throughout your book and, and, and whenever we have a conversation, um, uh, you have a very scientific approach about everything. So I know you're always very careful about making statements. Um, and, and one thing I've thought about with the, with, since a lot of this is kind of emerging research is even though we don't have large population studies on say, for example, lipedema, it is, it, to me, it's very interesting if you have 
even if you only had one case where a person has tried to diet low calorie for 20 years, and I've seen these patients, these aren't, these, these aren't unusual cases. Um, you recently had one that was, um, that was eating, I think a thousand calories a day, which is very, very little. Uh, and she was visibly skinny, almost malnourished in this area. You could see the clavicular yes. bone, but yes. there was a large amount of, of fat on the hips and on the upper arms. Yes. And so nothing she had done for you know, 20 years had worked. And even at that low of a calorie diet, and then you switch to the keto and you start seeing progress. So that's mm -hmm. not an insignificant finding. And, if, and yes. if you can duplicate that with several cases, then we really are onto something here, even though mm -hmm. we don't have a thousand cases to show. Yes. But, but nothing else had changed. So you change mm -hmm. one factor and the whole results change. Right, right. That's, that cannot be ignored. Yes, and, and there was a small pilot study that came out of Norway. They, they haven't published it yet, but it was used for a master's thesis. And so I got a copy of the, the master's mm -hmm. thesis. Um, and uh, the, uh, one of the um, uh, principal investigators was uh, presented at our conference that we had virtually last uh, October, or last November. And she gave the results of that, which were absolutely spectacular. It was just, uh, it was less than 10 women with lipedema, but they did four weeks of, I, know, I think it was actually, yes, four weeks of a, of a ketogenic diet followed by another four to six weeks on a standard um Norwegian yeah. diet mm -hmm. and um and so they lost the pain they lost volume when they were doing keto it all came back you know um mm -hmm. when they were when they uh did the standard uh, higher carb uh yeah. type yeah. of eating uh, Norwegian diet so um so we already do have you know with the small pilot study we have some preliminary evidence of course we mm -hmm. hope to have uh, much larger, longer term studies, mm -hmm. um, hopefully with um, using with, you know, randomized and control groups and stuff like that. But I, mm -hmm. I do believe that it's, it's very promising and that we are going to, you know, substantiate what we're seeing anecdotally. Yeah. Yeah. 